What's up, bros and friends? This is me, Pebble Boo. First thing I want to say is I changed my game attack to virtual characters to Pebble Boo. The second is today we're gonna be checking about the top five Android or LAN game parts per games. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and wait till the end of the video to get the bonus content of this video, which is so awesome, guys. Now let's just get into the game and see what are the top five games according to my list. <laughs> Number 5 FIFA Mobile Soccer This game was released by EA Sports This game has a good graphics and this game even has a campaign feature in it The speciality of this game is that this is the first game to have the online feature That's the LAN feature You can create your own team with your friends That's each player gets each of your friends And this game has good AI and the, there is one small disadvantage in this game that is there is an energy bar at the top so that you cannot play so continuous. This game has a gesture mode so that you can play easily and if you want you can even give the ankler stick mode and the next is you can even do tricks in this just like FIFA. So I think this is a pretty good game guys you have to go and check up in the play store this is a free game. The next game. Number 4 the Special Force Group 2 by Force Games If you guys like Counter Strike Go or First Person Shooting Game I'm so sure you're gonna love this game because this game is First Person Shooting Games It has online LAN feature It has a bunch of weapons so first I'm gonna take a double barrel shotgun So the same way like Counter Strike is gonna climb the ladder with no hand there's plenty of game modes like SND, Capture the Flag, Zombies, Free For Alls and more guys. You can purchase medikit or armor or ammo or grenades and even more. And the disadvantage of this game is you can aim, there's just hip fire, but you can aim with snipers which is so good guys. This game has a good graphics but the AI is so bad but you have to keep the difficulty level to maximum to get a good AI. Let's get, hop into the next game guys. Number 3 Bomb Squad This game is pretty funny game and I like this game it has plenty of game modes and I just played as a campaign feature and this controlling of the game is so simple you're just going to run fast, throw some bombs and jump I don't know much about this game guys but after playing it, it was so good my friend recommended me to play this game and when I go event and checked up in the internet it just showed this, it has a good rating which has almost 4.7 out of 5 for iTunes and 4.3 out of 5 for Google Play Store and you got plenty of boosters lying around this map they have lots of maps and lots of game modes too in this game you can play with LAN and your friends so overall this game has good AI and good graphics but this game has one small disadvantage that is you cannot go and create a server that's the only problem and it does not have a pro pack it just have fewer maps that's the small disadvantage other than that this game is so awesome guys all right, let's just hop into the next game again. Number 2 Mini Militia Blue Army 2 This is also a good shooting game which has land features. You can do team deathmatch or you can go survival. For now, I'm just going to go play with my friends in a server and the game is going to start right now with the map called Catacombs. You can select map. Alright, this is how the game looks guys. It's a 2D uh, shooting game. You can get a bunch of weapons just like Halo. You have EXO and you can aim out and the weapons will be lying out on the ground just like the Halo. There are a bunch of weapons to say, for example, snipers, flamethrowers, and lot. You can throw grenades, do melee, and you got the life bar and the exo bar at the top. And this is pretty funny game to play with your friends. And see, the grenade kills are gonna be so awesome. The next thing I wanna say is. 
this game has a bunch of weapons which are so creepy, which are only in specific map. For example, the gun which I'm using right now is just in this map, which uh, releases a grenade bomb. It's just so funny, guys. The disadvantage of this game is it does not have the pro pack. If you want the pro pack, you have to go purchase it. Other than that, this game is so awesome. And that's it to say about this game, guys. Time for the first place. And now, the first place is the best ever, ever. Number one, Minecraft. Yes, guys, this game is the best I've ever seen. For now, I'm just gonna go play some creative game mode to show what this game is. This game is a big world which is made of blocks, which has infinite resources and creative. For example, you can just put some sandboxes. Uh, you can see the boxes, the lots of boxes right now in the menu. I can I can keep the door to open ground, open, close it. You can even dig at the ground, put some TNT and blast the place. Uh, and see, that's how it looks. So you can pull out a bucket, go burn yourself up and not die. Go to the top and see the beautiful thing you just made. And you can even play in third person view, just like uh, uh, the GTA. Wait. What's going on? Why is she looking? Um, yes. That's good guys, now you can see you can play in third person view, just like Just Cause 3, you can fly around the map. For now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna make a small national park of animals with it. First I'm just putting some waterfalls, choosing some bunch of eggs, putting some skeletons first, then putting some spawn zombies, some creepers, some bats, some spawn slime and some sheep and even some cows and then comes the pigs and finally chickens to fill the small places yes yeah, you can see that's a beautiful place which I just made isn't that awesome guys and with your creative idea during night what I did is I just lighted up with lava so that I just changed this into a half waterfalls and a half lava place this game has good signs now let's talk about survival. You have no resources, nothing. You have to be surviving to this place. You just got life and you get hungry if you're not gonna eat. First, let me say what to do. Uh, you can just go break some bricks at the ground and they'll be floating out. Uh, you can just collect them. Now you got four sandboxes. The second thing you wanna do is just gonna cut some wood of the tree, like three to four blocks, collect them go make it into the virtual plank, make a crafting table, using crafting table, make sticks, using sticks, do shovel to dig the sand faster or just stack the top of the sand. Using the virtual plank again, you can just go make sticks and make some wood pick so that you can cut the free wood fast than the normal rate. Oh, that's, uh, that's enough for the video. Oh my god, I forgot about the bonus content. It's right here for you guys. Yes guys, I got the mini Mercia Pro Pack for you guys, the link in the description. All you need to do is go and click the link in the description and just go to settings. The Pro Pack is purchased. The next thing you're gonna go is do the store and you got the battle points at the bottom. Purchase whatever you need guys. The next thing is I even got the unlimited health pack in the description. The third thing which I just wanna say is the best thing. The Minecraft bits cost almost 500 rupees. I got it free for you guys in the link in the description. All you want to do is go download Google Drive from Play Store for free. And that's it. You got the APKs of mine. And thank you for watching this video, guys. Thank you for these guys who helped me in the music.